Hey there. So while I was in New Zealand working with the Rookie Academy this season, I got a chance to trial out the Carve technology. So I'm just going to give you a quick little look at one of the very, very cool modes, uh, function uh, possibilities you can use this awesome technology for. <clears throat> so I've opened up the app and on this particular day, uh, Nico and myself, we uh, went out and I've got the pressure pressure sensors in my boots, uh, reading all the info coming in from that stuff. And Nico synced his iPhone up using uh, one of the features from this app. And what it does is it records video of me skiing and then synchronizes that with the pressure sensors um, under my boots. So you can pause or look at any particular part of my run. And I'm going to switch modes here to this really cool option and see exactly where the pressures are at a particular point in the turn. So for instance here, <clears throat> right foot on uh, my outside foot, the pressure is more towards the ball of the foot. And on my inside foot, I'm starting to feel heel pressure. And so you can see as I go down the hill, those little pressure sensors move up and down. So really uh, cool value of this is you could find, a say, a mistake, a point where there's a mistake, and then figure out, you know, just before that point what happened, where your pressures were. And so this is great for coaches and people that learn through kind of self-reflection. Uh, I'll just go through a couple of the uh, different things you can look up here. So, I mean, <clears throat> this technology is crazy. It picks up... Um, you know, the change in altitude. So as you go down um, the hill, your speed, uh, G-forces. So we'll have a look at the, the turn that I created the most amount of G-forces, which is right here. And what's really cool is with this, uh, so G-forces max at this point, sort of just after the fall line. And then you can see it dips off right here, um, which to me is really nice because it means I dealt with the pressure and the transition really nicely. So let's have a look at the next one, upper body angles. The uh, iPhone sits in your pocket and this uh, carved technology will pick up on the uh, different uh, angles that your body tips at. So pitch being how far forward your body is. So that particular point you can see right here, I almost get caught a little bit too far forward with my torso and that's reflected with the pitch being more forward. So Really interesting stuff it picks up on there. Ski angles. Uh, again, we'll um, do the inside and outside uh, boot um, in all three dimensions. Uh, we've got ski force. So here I would need Nico to help me out with analyzing this a little further. Um, but pressure, uh, X moment, Y moment. Let's see, ski uh, ski path. This would be interesting uh, if you're looking at, say, even a race course. So you could perhaps look at line and see uh, red where max pressures are, blue less pressure, and live replay force and motion. Unfortunately, my uh, little things weren't totally synced up exactly, but here you can even see as I ski down that... Um, the, the, the pressure soles are moving in three dimensions as well as picking up on the forces. So that's a very cool mode on that one. Um, balance analysis <clears throat> will tell you um, difference, you know, between the right and left turn um, at the beginning and the middle and the end. And then edging, uh, it'll just give you different colors for depending on, you know, where you're creating the most amount of edge angles. So Overall, incredibly awesome technology. This is probably my favorite mode here to check out to be able to see where um, yeah, where your pressure is at particular points in the turn, you know, if it's in the right spot or not, and checking left versus right, those sorts of things. So, yeah, really awesome stuff. The guys at Carve are doing an incredible job. They're about to release a new uh, updated sensor um, force plate. So... Uh, look out for that one and um, yeah tune in more as I get to hopefully test this stuff in Canada thanks see ya